Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So listen, we have got something a little bit different for you today. We have got uh, yesterday, Saturday, today is Sunday. Yesterday, Saturday, we hit up a local wholesaler and they, they typically sell pallets and it's pallets of Amazon and um, Dollar General and uh, gosh, Target, um, all kinds of stuff. I mean, they, they, they literally get liquidation from pretty much every major retailer, uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, every major retailer you can think of. So they had done a Facebook Live, and we had jumped on the Facebook Live to see what they had. And they had some Amazon General Merchandise Palace that looked pretty interesting. Um, we've bought a couple of things from these guys in the past um, and have done okay. You know, not great, but have done okay. Um, so, you know, but these pallets looked really, really good. Super clean product. Um, so, unfortunately, we had to tear down the pallet at the location because we weren't able to get it all into my pickup truck um, due to me having a cover on the bed. So, uh, we had to break it down. So, we know what all is in here, but we're going to show you guys what we've got here in just a minute. But there was what appears to be about 38 items uh, on the pallet. Um, I'm going to show you six big ones behind me, and then we're going to actually do kind of a big reveal on some of the other ones. So I'm going to turn the camera around and take you into the storage unit. So first item you're going to see right here, that big long box, that is a very large dog folding dog crate. Uh, brand new. There's box damage, um, but you can see right there. Just one of your typical folding uh, dog crates, but it's huge. It's about the biggest one I've ever seen. Uh, right behind it. Retail. Oh, I'm sorry. Retail on that looks like it's about 107. On Prime. On Prime. About 107 on Amazon retail for that dog crate. Now, I should probably add, we paid $545 for this pallet. So I should probably make that clear uh, from the start. Here we've got a a large TV stand with mount. Um, it's got a lot of box damage. It does have written on it damaged and no phone number. So realistically what that means is the box came to the buyer damaged. They refused the, the shipment. So we're going to have to open that up and really get a good look we'll at it and make sure the product isn't damaged. My thoughts when I was unloading is that we'll probably put it together right, and sell it leave it in here yeah. together and sell it pre yeah pre yeah exactly so that'll give us an idea if there's any damage to the actual product or not um not sure on retail on that probably a 100 bucks maybe a little bit more um we haven't gotten that far on that item right behind it there's another big item um this is a compost tumbler made by lifetime it's an 80 gallon tumbler um this thing retails for somewhere in the 200 dollars mark uh, again, lots of box damage, but written on it is return to sender. So uh, most likely, again, this came damaged to the buyer, uh, thanks to our wonderful UPS, FedEx, USPS. That was UPS. Uh, U UPS. So thanks to wonderful UPS taking care of their products when they ship them. Uh, but that is a big ticket item. Retails for somewhere in the $200 range. You know, we think we probably could sell that for 100 bucks as long as everything inside the box is in proper condition. So, again, something we'll have to probably put together and work with from there. And then here is also made by Lifetime. These are two raised garden beds. Um, do I? I one. There's yeah, there's a possibility that we could probably keep think about keeping one of these. But uh lifetime raised garden beds, usually these lifetime products are like resin or, or plastic um material. But I think those we saw sold for somewhere in the two hundred dollar range. I don't know. These don't are know three packs. Um so there's three per box. Again, looks like some box damage, but really I, I would assume the product inside is just fine. Um, and one item off camera. So, yeah. So, and then we've got one item that you won't see on camera today. We took it home last night because it could potentially be heat sensitive and we didn't want to leave it in a hot, um, a hot storage unit, but it is a, a two, a hundred and some dollar bottle, hundred dollar bottle of perfume that will show right here, right now. And 
yeah so that's uh that that's the item that'll be missing today but we definitely wanted to make sure you saw that because that's a 80 to 100 dollar bottle of of perfume so um we're going to set up the camera a little bit differently out here and kind of show you the the rest of the haul but there's about 30 more items out here and uh this is pretty exciting stuff guys we'll be right back all right so welcome back so we changed up a little bit you'll see above us the beautiful carolina blue sky it is an absolutely fantastic day however it is extremely hot we are pushing 90 degrees already and it's about one o'clock in the afternoon so um definitely an extremely hot day but we're glad to have a, a super nice day to bring you guys out here and show you what we've got so um we're gonna dig right into these 30 items plus that we've got behind us there in. should be 32 items over here should be 32 should be items over here i believe items. so uh this is a black out velvet french pleated curtain um you know probably not a ton of money but that's okay like i said there was a lot of mystery boxes and some of the mystery boxes we've already opened uh there's a few that we have not opened yet of course i will lift this lift that so this oh. is some sort of reef crystal salt or something that exploded um, in the box exploded in the box but it's still pretty full so who knows we haven't looked at what that's worth or if it's even worth selling it might not be and it might just go to the dump but um but that's okay let's grab one of the mystery boxes we have not opened yet this is uh, we've opened most of them actually the, the guy that runs the the wholesale over at was pretty excited for us to open up some of these mystery boxes and man are you really shocked at what you find but here's a mystery box right here of course i didn't bring a knife as usual kind of southerner am i that i don't have a knife in my pocket at all times um that's okay so a complete mystery box and it looks wonderful already <gasps> oh no shit <laughs> oh, this is a brand, brand new, new brand looks brand new i mean i, I don't see any damage on the box it's Those a pioneer items. Uh, one din digital media receiver uh, looks like it's got Apple CarPlay looks like this could be a keeper guys I've been wanting to put a radio in my truck really badly so this uh, this might be a keeper How did you get a new truck? keep in mind <laughs> keep in mind again we paid five hundred and forty five dollars for this pallet 38 items it's about fourteen dollars an item and there's no UPC on it, but dash WC six thousand six hundred NEX. WC six thousand six hundred NEX. Uh huh, six thousand six hundred NEX. I can't see the thumbs in my eyes. <laughs> no. What? Is that a thousand dollars? You ain't keeping that. No, it's a seven thousand six hundred. Oh. Six thousand six hundred appears to be discontinued. We don't have great connection here, guys, so bear with us. Uh, it's still loading. We might have to just Google this one because Amazon doesn't show it, uh, show a price on it. Uh, wow. But it's, it's older brother version is $1,000. So. Um, and NEX-1 was $799. Yeah, I, I would bet we're in a six to $800 radio right there. Um, you think you're keeping that? Probably not. Probably not. Here, if you want to, you want to do something, I've done two in a row. No, you didn't. I did the oh, salty okay. stuff. Okay. All right. So here we have another. Um, I don't know. I'll be quite honest with you. It's a blanket I don't know. of some sort it's of piece. Either. Oh, maybe this will come off. No, it's sheet a sheet set. set. Premium, Premium polar fleece. fleece in a queen size, red color. Brand new. Don't know how much these are, but I would think at least twenty bucks. So here is a coffee maker. It is a single cup, uh, like no name Keurig kind of sorta. We uh, we did look this up while we were at the joint, and I think it was forty. Fifty nine brand, brand new. Brand new. We'll have to see what it. We'll looks open like. it up. It has been open, so um, no telling for sure. But um, sixty bucks brand new. So, so and, you know, possibly 30? an eBay eBayable item, which is kind of exciting as well. And here we have a. What it says on the box and what it feels like it is, is a slam ball. And I looked into these last night and I think it's, yeah, it looks six pound slam ball. Six pound slam ball. 
I think they retail 20 for twenty bucks. So put so it out of the yard sale for like fifteen. Yep. Absolutely, ten bucks at a yard sale should move pretty quickly. Yep. Uh, I'm not sure. This is a. I got to be careful because there are no. It's oh, yeah, okay. it's easy to see what it is. So this is a double folding bed rail, uh, summer infant. As you can see the picture there, I think maybe you'll see that it's. Oh, uh, it's a. Oh no, it's a double folding bed rail. Um, Again, brand new. It's still factory sealed. It appears. We'll get a look at that and see what that's worth. We don't. Uh, we don't know for sure. Emily's oh, iPhone has overheated. All right. What we'll this one next? Okay. Again, we opened it. I don't remember. Oh, okay. So you all looked at this one. Yes. This one's supposed to be the ending. That's all right. So this is a Robo Rock uh, ro uh, robot vacuum cleaner. Quick look yesterday shows it to be a $550 robot vacuum cleaner. Uh, we'll look again, it's but sealed. it is factory sealed factory and brand sealed, new. Brand new. Um, I'm just looking here. Yeah, I mean, it, uh, it just is Rover Rock S5 Max. 180 minute runtime and it works with Alexa. It doesn't look like it's been retaped. It doesn't look like it's been retaped. That looks like factory tape. But so that was a huge deal. That was the one that I said in my Facebook post, if you saw that, that was, um, <laughs> not, was anymore. One, not anymore, was the one item that would pay off. And it's funny because we did open, like we opened a lot of the items. He was really pushing to see what was in it. He said it's a new program that they have. Yeah. Um, and had we not been pressed for time, we probably would have gone back and bought a second one yesterday. Yeah, probably. Um, but yeah, so we opened quite a few things, but there are some boxes we have not opened. One of the lower value items, and that's okay based on what you've seen already, um, but it's just a dog tie out. It is a 250 pound, 25 foot XXX dog tie out that'll go out at a flea market for eight bucks. Actually, it'll probably get lumped with some of these other. We have like puppy pads. Yeah, puppy yeah, And we have got... some dog bowls, and I'm thinking that'll just add to a puppy package. So we could potentially lot that up into something similar All to All right, next there. item here we have a Smart Shot Sports Center. I am not pulling it out of the box, but it's by VTech. And he can maybe put a picture in. Uh -huh. um, it's just right. a little kid's uh, toy. We'll probably hold on to this and not sell it until the fall uh, for Q4, trying to hold on to some of the toys we get. Yep. And I think we can probably get like 20, 25 bucks for it. It is, I, well, we have to open it because I don't know which model it is. All right. It does have a scan bar. So. Yeah. Let's see. All right. I'm trying to cool it in my back pocket, but you know how hot I am. Yes. Oh, yes. Especially the back pocket. That's the hottest. Ram. Uh, this was also a fun one to find in a mystery box. This was a, it's a remote control speedboat. It can go up to 45 kilometers per hour. So if, no. you're, if you're on the other side of the on the other side of the pond, you can tell me how, how fast 45 kilometers. So yesterday we had a very busy day. So right. we went and we loaded it. And then um, our older son and I, Jacob, you've seen him in some videos. He and I came here and unloaded. And we think this is brand new brand based new. on the way it's packaged. He scanned it on his phone and he claims that it was in the $200 range. I did not look it up because we were in a hurry, he and I, to go do some other stuff. So, um, and now my phone's overheating, that, so. That seems like it could be potentially uh, correct too. These, these good remote control boats go for a significant amount of money. So $150, $200 maybe on that, and it is brand new in the box. All right, this item we are not going to open. Hopefully we will be able to find a picture. Um, this is, it says, do not lay flat, but based on where it was in the pallet, it was laying flat. Yeah. It has, oh, it has a scanner. I'm sure we'll be able to scan it. Um, it's a 20 by 30 black metal framed something on vanity mirrors wall mounted. Vanity, so not some vanity. sort of vanity mirror. Here, let me see if it'll it could scan. potentially be broke. Um, oh, you, never you know. think it sounds like it? It doesn't sound like it at all. But yeah. You never know. Amazon doesn't like being So um, we will absolutely uh, try to find a picture of that and a sold cop to pop up on the screen for you to see. Here is another mystery box that we did not open. Um, Based on a couple of the other mystery boxes, I am going to guess that it is something for the home. 
A lot of these were returned to Hebron, uh, Kentucky. Must be a big return. Uh, Our storage key is the sharpest. Facility for Amazon. Did you hear me? I did, I did, I did. Oh, yeah. Nice. It's a little $30 uh, keyboard. Uh, still sealed. Yep. Still sealed, nice. brand new Logitech wireless keyboard and mouse. 20, 20, 20 bucks. 30 bucks. Uh, bought a very similar one uh, for Christmas for Emily a couple years ago. Boys don't like it, but I do. Boys don't like it because it's not cookie and, and all that stuff. No, it's too stiff. But super exciting because normally when you buy these Amazon pallets like this, They're it's all awesome. really big stuff and for it's meant us, for, for us experience. at least. Yeah, and it's, it's all kind of Facebook Marketplace type stuff. We're finding a fairly decent amount of eBayable stuff as well. So that is pretty exciting for right. sure. It had quite a few baby items, which is perfectly fine. This one is a Fisher Price easy to convert infant to toddler rocker. I almost said rocket. Um, and again, it looks like oh, it's, it's sealed. sealed. It's sealed. It's I can't tell sealed. 100%, but I think it's sealed. So it seems like the pallets that they had, which really sucks that we only did get one. Um, <laughs> for that price, for sure. For the price and for the product that we're seeing, uh, were definitely shelf pulls or return, more return, not re shelf pulls. Yeah, so, returns. right, exactly. And we learned something, so we're learning. And what we learned yesterday. My eyes are running. I'm I know, sorry. it's very hot. We forgot a shade. Um, <laughs> but what we learned yesterday is on these returns, um, whether he was telling us right information or wrong information it's like they tried to deliver it and they couldn't deliver it or they were refused and based on a couple of the tags they said refused traffic somebody's on a motorcycle somebody's speeding a motorcycle. Um, should have shifted again but <laughs> so anyway out a little bit. um so yeah so it's quite it's it was it, it was a great buy oh yeah right in the price range we wanted to spend this weekend great product and we learn stuff and you know keep in mind also that these pot these pallets are not manifested we had no clue what was on this pallet other than what we could visually see and what we visually saw was a couple of things we'll show you here in a minute and then those big boxes the yeah. compost and the uh, the 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 garden beds garden yeah. so everything else you couldn't visit they were in boxes they were mystery boxes and unfortunately or, we didn't take a picture of it so we didn't you know we don't know what's in there so this yeah. literally was a lottery win um essentially okay i'm gonna turn that around because it's got a address on it but this is a bright starts jungle vines cradling bouncer um again uh, it was a return, uh, label, it was a return label to hebron kentucky um yeah. from somebody in elgin south carolina so, oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, yeah. yeah, return address. So, uh, yeah, who knows? Um, I, we'll look up cops on that. 20 30 bucks, maybe. Okay. Um, maybe less. You wanna... Oh, you need help on that one. Oh, oh you got it. Look at you, muscles. All right, so if we turn it and we tilt it, maybe. All right, and he can put a picture in. <laughs> you can drop it now. So, this one. <sighs> it's a baby trend, and it is a all in one. Um, it has a bassinet changer, changer and a plate, and plate. plate in it. Uh, I don't know. We tried, We've seen them we didn't from... have the model number. I couldn't get it to come up off of um, just trying to remember it and have what I had in my search. So we had to do a little research, but I, that's brand new. Yeah. It's never been opened. Uh, I don't know we if retail is 100. We saw it for 119 to 289. 289. So... We got to figure out what exact model it is and yeah. then what we can sell it for. Yep. All right. Here up. Um, so I think I okay. think I opened this, but I didn't know 100% what it was. I I'm think... only opened this one. Oh no, that I didn't. Know. This is some sort of a collapsible shave tent. Can we put it in now? <laughs> right over our head. Oh, a dog. Kennel. Oh, it's a pet play, play tent, like a, a oh, collapsible nice. pet play tent. It's so fairly new. Um, I don't know, the bag's open, but everything else looks brand new. It doesn't look like a dog um, here. We've done fairly well with some of these dog type things on yeah. Facebook Marketplace in the past. So I definitely think that is something that will find its way to Marketplace soon. You should walk that stuff in. So have room. Hey. She, hit, she hit me, it's on video. So right here, this is um, another, what is a return. And I'm gonna say it's a curtain rod. That is my guesstimation. I think it's a curtain rod. 
Could be a fishing pole. Mm. But I think based on the other ones, it's curtain rod. Fashion cardboard cut. No, it was already broken open. Doesn't say. Doesn't say. Ready? Here's the return slip. And here it comes. Here it comes. Nope, it's not curtain rod. <gasps> what is it? What is Oh. It's extremely long <laughs> jungle stakes. <laughs> Leaving the peel on a banana, cut a canyon into the middle of the banana, remove the sliver, place a handful of chocolate chips into the canyon. Uh, so it's a s'more stick. It's, they're giant, <laughs> long s'more sticks. Maybe we'll put Probably them in our camping gear. Probably just go in our camping, uh, in our camping uh, gear. That's so funny. It's funny how you assume what something could be, and then it's not. Yeah, I was hoping it was something more expensive. So we did also see this on the side of the pallet. And something that you see on these boxes uh, sometimes that makes you kind of get thinking that it's something cool is you see that sticker right there that says that there's batteries in the box. So that means it's a piece of electronics of some sort, you would assume. Um, we opened this one? We did open this one already. So this is some sort of a PTC fan heater by Tautronics. We have Tautronics products. We have a massager by Tautronics. We have a ring light by Tautronics. Oh, that and brand. And they, it's a very, very, very uh, good brand. And it appears, it appears as though in the box it is brand spanking new. I'm not going to pull it out. But, um, so, you know, one of the other exciting parts about this is it's not terribly heavy. So if we decided to sell it on eBay, it comes in its own box so we don't have to worry about trying to find a box so uh, very cool uh, little heater that'll probably wait till q3 or q4 to sell all right and here we have a quick set smart key security it doesn't look like it's been open there is some rattle but i think it's the stuff that's to put it together yeah I so and it's a smart key, so it's uh, it's pretty advanced technology, yeah. and some know. of these quick set products are quite expensive. So you're gonna have to put. You're gonna have to do that. I'll uh, yeah, we'll pop up some cops on some of this stuff on the screen. Okay. Do some of our little things for then. you. But some so, of those we didn't open. Some of these long boxes we have here. Here, this oh, is can. actually a curtain rod. Use this. There are two. Two curtain rods in the box. Oh, bronze! They are, they are a rubbed bronze. Um, but yeah, so it's not Even our color scheme. No. We'll sell That's them. Right. We will definitely sell them, whether it be a garage sale or. Marketplace. This is interesting because it has Whole Foods delivery on it. Um, I don't know. Oh, open. I probably need them. It's just a long four foot long box. And it's making a lot it's, of rattling. It says it's two hour grocery, but there is nothing grocery signed in this box. Right? So, no. So it but it, just they still sell place. other stuff in the grocery section. Oh, it's a curtain rod. It is a curtain rod. Again, not the color a I would use. Colors, but it's a silver, a silver. Pewter, uh, pewter, whatever. Yeah. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see if we can put it together, what it looks like, and it'll go in the garage sale for Oops. probably a couple bucks. Oh. We haven't opened this one yet either, guys. So this one is also exciting because it is a mystery box. The last mystery box yielded potentially a thousand dollar car stereo. This is multiple pieces. This one has two pieces in the box. They are also rods of some sort. PDR rods, PDR rods auto, body. auto body. Oh. Removal 15 pieces. What's that mean? PDR, paintless dent removal. Oh, really? Um, let's go ahead and open this up and see what it is. Yeah, so these are the tools. These are the tools that people use when they do paintless dent repair. Huh. And it's two packages of them. Um, we'll take a look at those. They, you know, might fetch a couple of bucks. Kind of a specialized tool. So, um, you know. Sounds like something for eBay for me. So that all we Uh it would seem. All right, here we have another box, and it's narrow, but it doesn't. I don't know. It doesn't feel like it's a curtain rod to me, but maybe it is. 
You should have brought you a cup of ice water. Because I know you love that water. You should have brought me a cup of cold beer. You should have brought me. It's 12 o'clock somewhere. Uh, it's 12 o'clock here. Oh, well then, perfect. <laughs> I'll be back. Sorry. There's a gas station up the road. I can get a 40. Oh. Do you know what it is? No. It's a baseball bat, brand new. Ooh. Oh my, that is a brand new Easton Beast Pro Big Barrel, 30 inch long, 22 ounce, so drop eight. Um, holy cow, guys. Some of these bear is it? It's alloy, so it's not gonna be, you know, the expense of a composite bat. Uh, so it's not available on there, but it was one forty nine ninety five. One hundred and fifty dollar bat, y'all, brand new, still in the wrapper. That'll go wow. on. E that'll go on eBay. At least from that scan, it's not showing an active price like it's unavailable, but it does show me some price of one fifty, so maybe. It's got a very cool looking lizard skin grip on it. Any y'all that have. Are in the baseball I want world. I know. I want to go buy another pallet too. They open. They're open Tuesday. Maybe I'll have a cough. Um, They'll probably be all gone. Guys, this pallet is an absolute freaking home run. This like literally changed his perspective on buying these pallets. Since we're on Facebook. and it's teaching us how to look to buy pallets. Because like we said, we bought a couple and we've done okay on them. One of them took forever. It was more yeah. returns than anything, but the stuff that was inside. But now it, I don't know. Every purchase, we learn something. Brand new in the box, Decor Plus uh, Diaper Genie. So this is a plus. I couldn't remember what it was when I was trying to research pricing. It's a plus. I think. 60 ish? I think, I think so. Because originally I said 30, but this yep. is a plus. So I think the pluses when I was looking on Marketplace were um, going for better. Let me see if I can scan the so, Amazon tag. Decor Plus. And it's not a fan. Oh, $39.95. Okay, $40. I swear I saw them on Marketplace for that. Like, people had them listed for that price or more. So we'll look. Oh, yeah, this is the one that I opened. I think these are uh, placement. Oh, no, this is the one I opened. This is the one you opened. This is a pan. That's right. A blue pan. It's a wok. Oh. oh no, actually, no, it's, it's a not. French skillet. It's a French skillet. You can make your crepes. You know how I can tell? It says wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> actually, it says it right off the package. Let's see if we've been Terrible dad this. joke time. Ba ba ba. This uh, skillet is $59.95. $60 skillet, people. What the shit? $60, guys. We are going to triple our money on this pallet. Easily. You like really need to bleep me. Easily. <laughs> We're not monetized yet. Keeping, if y'all are really, really at least offended. I'm only saying the S word. If you seriously are offended by the word shit, I'm sorry. Probably finding the channel. Um until we're monetized and then we'll be angels. Alright, this This is something we could it. set up right now. <laughs> Believe me, it's crossed my mind. Uh, this is an eight by eight slant leg easy pop-up tent in navy blue color um Does it have a tag on it? Uh, i don't see a tag on it i need a pool i'll see a brand and i'll see a tag or a so we'll pop it open we'll see if we can't get some uh some comps on it and um we will pop, with the sun wall. pop something on the screen looks like it might even come with a side wall which is really nice. no a sun wall side wall sun wall Sunwall. Tomatoes, tomatoes. Okay, pick me a box. Pick you a box. Here. That is right? Maybe a hundred and nine, depending on the brand for that. That's an empty box. So something must have been there at one point. <laughs> it's I don't one know of, what. We probably had whatever was in there was out here. Yeah. I don't know what item it was. Alright, grab me something. <clears throat> Another baby item. This is a basic changing essentials kit. The starter kit. The same brand as that one that we just showed you with the bed rails. Summer. I feel like they sell summer at Walmart. So they must also I mean, I could uh, could possibly lot this up. That's what I was with thinking. With some of the other baby stuff we got, and maybe you know 
Uh, maybe new mamas will want some brand new toys at a nicely discounted yeah. price. Like, or if somebody was going to a baby shower, they might be like, yeah. "Oh, I can buy a whole little kit of or stuff." That. You know, especially if they didn't have like a really specific registry. Yeah. Thirty-four ninety-nine. Thirty-five bucks. It says it's chevron, gray okay. and white. All right. I don't know if that's what's in there, but you know, hey. Okay. It's a decent color scheme. Okay, you're up. I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. We're down to the last four. I think these are what Emily, yeah. So these are Emily opened these just. Wait, I think it's place maps. Tore open the corner of the box a little bit to take a peek in last night. We are going to take a break here in a second, guys, and go get out of the sun for a minute. But see what we do for you viewers? Whew. Yeah, they are the place maps. So these They're are like corn placement. straw 15 inch Hello. place maps. Uh, hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Hey. So these are like 15 inch corn straw placemats um, and there's t uh, eight of them in here. Oh, Amazon don't like me again. Amazon is not a fan. But I would bet those are probably $2 piece. Yeah, yeah, probably somewhere in that area. So probably a eight yard sale item. All right, now this is a 12 sheet cross cut paper shredder. An Amazon Basics. It's been open. Has it? Yeah, you can see where the Amazon Basics yeah, label is cut. I'm uh, surprised mine hasn't yet because it's connected to the camera right out there in the glaring sun. But yeah, it's been open. We'll take a peek at it and see if it's in new condition and uh, see what it's worth. Probably something that'll sell. Definitely sell local because it is quite heavy. You pick. You we are to go down. Next? We are down to the last two items. These are two of the big items that we saw. We could see on the pallet. Um, while it was still wrapped at the store. So um, we'll let Emily jump into this one, but these were two exciting items for us. So this one is a four moms mama roo. And you can kind of see, I don't know what address is on there. So we'll go on this side maybe. He can put a picture in. Yeah. I don't know, it's something it's used some, for. It's a motorized baby shaker. And I think we saw comps <laughs> for shaker. at least $100, I yeah, think. Yeah, it was more like 200 200 Yeah. All right, right I'm in the shade. You're in the sun. Yeah, you go ahead. I'll finish this one out. And uh, we'll get the phones off the camp, the sun, and all that stuff. All right, final. Final deal right here. Um, HP 27-inch diagonal monitor uh, brand appears to be Brand new, sealed in the box. Although now that I look at it a little closer, the, the top tape has been cut, the actual factory tape, and it has been taped over. Um, and it doesn't necessarily mean because if they did send back a broken one, they sure took their time to package it up nice. Um, it looks to me to be all nestled snug in its styrofoam. Um, I don't know that we want to pull it all the way out right here on concrete floor. So we'll do this. We're going to take this home. We're going to open it at home on camera. Yeah. And you'll insert that footage yep. in our air conditioned home. That was like 150 or so dollars if I remember. But we right. will open this one on camera to see the... the we will. To see yeah. what we got. And we'll take this um, one too and do the same thing. We're, gonna, we're definitely going to take the radio home because that's going to yeah. get posted somewhere right away. Okay. We're going to come back up here later and we're going to take some photos of some of the stuff that's going on marketplace but right now is not the time no uh, at all we need some air conditioning so we'll go home maybe we'll do some listing uh some organization stuff grocery shopping grocery shopping uh, yeah. and Feel my we pain. will we will hopefully add on to this video just a little bit for you for some things that uh, maybe we need to update you on all right guys so we are back home in the air conditioning which Honestly, at 95 degrees is not feeling much like air conditioning at the moment. Um, but it is much better than being out in the 95 degrees. Let's put it that way. So I promised you I was going to open up two of the items when we got back into air conditioning just to make sure they were still uh, new and 100% uh, good to go. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to open up the computer monitor first. I'm going to slide the camera back a little bit. So I have a little bit of room. And I'm going to go ahead and 
see if I can get this monitor out of the box easily. All right, so we had to do okay. some camera angle changes and all of that. Um, I will tell you that first glance, I've pulled the we've pulled the monitor out of the box. Okay, first glance, all the cables are kind of loose and not like they would be from the factory. So that gives me an indication that it has probably been at the very least plugged in. Uh, however, the base for the monitor does not appear to ever have been touched. Um, it is still in pieces. So um, we'll pull the pull the styrofoam off and the last computer monitor we got in the liquidation box was shattered, cracked, broke, no bueno. Uh, but this one, I don't see any initial, um, any initial thoughts on it being broken. Sometimes you can see discoloration even without it being powered on, where part of the screen may have been cracked or something along those lines. Um, we're gonna, as you can hear, my dog go crazy in the background as he chases one of his toys. <laughs> or something. I'm not sure what exactly he's chasing, See? but when I'm working from home, that's what y'all do. So apparently you're working nuts. from home. So I am powering it on. As far as I can tell, there are no cracked um, pixels or LEDs um, that I'm able to see. So huge monitor, 27 inch. Wow. It sells for about 130 bucks or so. Um, it just went to sleep. It, uh, that's okay. It went night night because it's not connected to any computers, so that's okay. Um, yeah, so sells for about 120, 130 dollars. We looked up some solar comps on it. Um, it's a good size monitor. I'm not sure if this will ever hit the market. I'll be honest with I don't you. Know. All right, let's take a look and see what the uh, what the outcome is with this car stereo. Um, so I opened up the, the big flap earlier just to get a good look. And all of the wires, all of, all of the cabling and everything is still sealed. This is a great sign, y'all. This wiring has never been put together. The, uh, the remote control for the radio is still in its bag. It still has the plastic pull-out thingy to protect from killing the battery during um, during shipping and stuff like that. I think here's where the big part's going to come in. Is this is kind of almost from what I'm seeing. This is kind of almost like a Tesla um, type radio, or Nissan has the ones that have the like the 10 inch. Um, almost like laptop looking thing that sticks out from the dash. That's what this is um, similar to. So the key is going to be what kind of condition is the screen in? Um, and it, you know, is that a problem? So um, we'll open it up. I will tell you from first glance, pulling it out of the box, it appears to still be in its packaging, original packaging. Um, there's no cuts or anything in the packaging. There's no tape marks. There's no tape, but there's also no tape marks to say that somebody had this out of the package at one point. And obviously I can't turn this on um, without plugging it into a car battery and all that other stuff, um, which is a pain in the tail uh, right now for testing purposes. However, um, there are no broken pixels on the screen whatsoever. There's no fingerprints on the screen. There is nothing to indicate that this has ever been installed. No scrape marks, no scratches. Um, matter of fact, I believe the screen protector is, oh, is still on it. So, um, guys, I think we've got us a winner here. This uh, looked this up since we weren't sure when we were at store to shoot the other video. We took a look at this on eBay when we got home with the actual model number and all of that. And come to find out that this sells very, very regularly on eBay for $895. Now, if you would have opened it and it was not working properly, 
So now I also did notice, um, well, I, I noticed that some pre-owns were still selling for 300, 350 bucks, somewhere in that general vicinity. Um, if the screen were broke, I don't know what value, if any, it would have had. Um, I didn't see any on there for parts. Um, but, and I take that back, actually, I did see somebody selling this antenna piece for like 30 bucks. Um, the remote probably could fetch us a few dollars for somebody that lost the remote. Um, you know, the chassis of the radio, so the, the part that actually goes into the dash, the part that goes into, is, brand, is still wrapped up brand new. Um, but this also, this is the main brain. This is the computer portion of it. That's just a screen gaining information from this. So, you know, this as well could have potentially, um, sorry, uh, could have, you know, could potentially bring money uh, in as well if we had to to go that route. So, I still have shopping on it. I am. Um, <laughs> Did you just call me a sub dude? I think so. I might have eaten all Um, no, it is very subdued. Honestly, guys, I am absolutely and entirely blown away by this palette. Um, you know, doing doing some quick math, <laughs> doing some quick math. This 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 palette could. Okay, I have to I have to make sure that everybody is aware. None of this stuff has sold yet. Not one piece. None of it's even listed. But this palette could potentially quadruple. The $500, and I'm going to have to take some time to figure out how to get that back in the package, which I knew I would. Um, but the potential is there in four items, right? We have that vacuum cleaner, which I looked up. It sells for $500. Um, on eBay almost every day there's a sale on that thing that quick set lock thing um, that remote control boat the radio we're talking potential of gross sales before fees and all of that stuff come out gross sales of twelve or thirteen hundred dollars and we paid five hundred and forty five dollars for this pallet I mean it's it just we've not hit a pallet like this before and um hopefully we will again but uh very 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 cool find awesome stuff awesome palette once again thanks for watching i just wanted to add these two pieces in there to the video so you could see those thanks so much for watching we appreciate you guys so very much make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and ding dong and all of that other happy stuff so you can see us the next time we're on. Thanks, guys.